Hi, I'm Charlie Phillips. Today I'm do going to do a quick video about putting FPV on a Chearson. Um, this, despite appearances, is a Chearson. I've simply rebodied it after I've smashed it several times. So, on the last video, I showed you how to fit the the gimbal underneath, and I've actually put a, a, a GoPro on this version. And the principal part about this is that here I have a video lead coming from the uh, from the USB port, leads up and connects into a transmitter which I've located, just stuck it on top. Now on the bottom here is a circular polarised antenna, I'll do a little piece about that later on, and we've got 12 volts and the gimbal connections underneath as well. So if I power this up, Obviously with a Chearson, the first thing you do is power up the aircraft, at which point the gimbal tends to have a life of its own, you might be able to hear it humming to itself. When you switch the transmitter on, the gimbal comes to life and points in the right direction. So we've now got some control of up and down, it'll go right down and normally be pointing kind of ahead. The other control does pitch. It's very sensitive on these. The best bet is to set it. And to be fair, why would you ever want to change the pitch once you're in flight? So this is connected up and it's now transmitting, whether we like it or not, um, through the circular polarized antenna. So what we need is a receiver. What I've got here, if I put this on, out of the way and aim it up. What I've got here is a receiver. This is the um, Skyzone 700D. It's a reasonably good um, starter. On it I've put a standard circular polarised antenna and this is a, a high gain version of the same thing from Fat Shark. Um, and the reason that you have to, this is a diversity receiver, the reason you have a diversity is that it will pick up whichever has got the strongest signal. Now this is very highly directional. I think it's a 14 dBi um, antenna. So in that direction you get 14 times the signal. But in this direction you get significantly less. Um, not quite 14 times less, but very significantly less. Whereas this one has got one to one all the way around. So the idea being that whilst you're trying to get distance, you're pointing this at the, at the aircraft. Um, when it's flying around you, when you're trying to land, that kind of thing, this will pick it up well. So I'll quickly power this up. These take a, a standard um, two cell battery, which is what I've got here, um, with a little JST plug on the end. They have an external power connector as well, which strictly speaking is a little bit better. Um, and invariably you end up breaking the lugs off the back of this, but don't worry. And you can see already we're getting diversity happening here. Now what this is doing is it's saying this is the antenna that I'm using. So if I cover this one up, I point it away, you can see this one switches off. When I go back it appears again. Off, on. So it's picking the most powerful signal and switching back to the one that will give it. So here we go, we'll open it up. Inside what we have is a signal off of this camera which I can show you because I can adjust it up and down, ground, look up again. I've still got the um, information showing on the camera. Crucially, and this is very important, do not switch the Wi-Fi on when you've got this thing going. Um, I've got Wi-Fi on another one and it's slightly scary because as soon as you start arming it, it can go mad. 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz um, telemetry and control, you've got no chance, it'll just fly off. So both of these are working now. Um, on this I've stuck a standard camera mount on the bottom, or oh, this is the bolt. This is one of these little, um, they, they say they're Kevlar, they could be anything with a bit of printing on it. But it's a camera mount that's that clips to the back of the, the Chearson remote control.
So now I've got something that I can look, see where I'm flying, and still control the aircraft. Um, equally, point up and down, to do the whole bit. It's really quite controllable, really quite useful. Slight angle, I can tell. And that's what I use to fly. Now the important thing is, with this, there is still some latency. So a GoPro isn't the fastest thing on the planet. So if you watch the screen, if I lift my hand, about a quarter of a second delay between what happens on the screen and what ha happens in reality. Now that's fine. Uh, this is the sky zone rebooting. They do this with a, a moderately flat battery. Um, it's why you're better off using external. Uh, this is fine on a Chearson. You don't travel very fast with them. You haven't got to worry about hitting too much. And a quarter of a second is absolutely fine. But when you're dealing with something like a, a mini quad, and the mini quads work exactly the same way, you really don't want that kind of latency. So in this one, we've got a much faster camera um, and a slightly bigger transmitter. This is underneath here. We have a, a Team Black Sheep encapsulated one. And that's running 500 milliwatts as opposed to that one, which is 200 milliwatts. So that's the basics of how the FPV works. There's no telemetry on this, principally because you're really not going to fly very far with a Chearson. Um, it flashes at you, and I generally run um, other telemetry if I want it. But I'll cover telemetry, transmitters, and cameras in my next video. So have fun with these. Uh, I think I need to tidy my desk again. <laughs>